My name is Rona Bortz. I'm a geneticist at the University of Leicester. I study a microorganism called Saccharomyces cerevisiae. It's a yeast. In fact, it's the same yeast that's used in baking and brewing. What I use it for is as a model organism for studying two very important processes, how we make eggs and sperm, and how we control the fidelity of DNA replication, because that is important for maintaining our DNA so that we don't acquire cancers. Yeast has many advantages as a model organism because it has a very small genome, it divides very rapidly, and it can be maintained as a haploid or as a diploid. Being haploid is important because it means it has only one copy of the genetic information, and that means when we make mutations, in general, we can study them directly. Humans have two copies of every gene, and so if you want to know what happens in the absence of that gene, it's much more difficult in humans. Yeast was the very first eukaryotic organism to be fully sequenced. This was back in the mid-90s, and having the sequence made it very easy for us to make directed mutations, that is changes in genes. And so we could delete a gene and see what happened to the process that we're studying. You can't do that with humans.